I'm currently at BWI where they have CT scanners going through TSA, which basically just means that what they're gonna do is get a 3D image of your bag. They're gonna know exactly what's in your bag and everything in it in full detail and they can navigate in 3D. Now what this also means for film and film photographers is that it's gonna destroy your film. It's a puzzle. This Kodak has sent their film through uh, tests that are between one and 10 scans through their CT scanners, giving them a lot of damage, a lot more than the old scanners used to. So I sent a roll of Porsche 400 in my bag through the scanner so that we could understand better about what it actually does to your film. Now what we'll do is take this and compare it side by side with another 35 millimeter camera that will show us exactly what's the difference between a brand new roll of Porsche 400 and one that's gone through a CT scanner. So you can see if your roll is gonna be completely messed up and not even worth shooting if you've accidentally left it in your bag and sent it through a scanner at TSA. I've got the K1000 SC801 right here. This one has the scanned CT film in there and this one has a normal roll of Porsche 400. Just taking the exact same shot of basically everything. This is German Village in Columbus, by the way. You take the exact same shot in the same settings as the other camera, so hopefully that keeps things consistent. Moving to F8. The same photo on two cameras. We're gonna see the difference. <laughs> <sighs> so that's right, we are going to see the difference. Or are we? Spoiler alert. The photos weren't actually that different. There was a noticeable difference, but only because I knew. But let me show you the results after taking the exact same photos side by side, both with 35 millimeter cameras that had really clean 50 millimeter lenses. Let's start with this photo of this very proud Pride Month dog. The owner was nice and was cool about us taking the pictures. Do you want to take a guess at which one this one was? Because if I were to guess, I'd say that it's kind of grainier than I thought it would be in the shadows over here, and that it's the airport CT scan version. But it's not. Here's the other version. Here's the one that actually went through the airport scanner first before I took the photo. There it is. So aside from the right side here where, you know, that's just my fault with not cropping and doing a bad scan, but... I mean, there's no crazy difference with this one. Like, maybe you can see a little bit of extra grain on her leg, maybe, but I might just be making that up. Um, let me look at the other one again real quick. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm making that up. That's, that's also grainy over here on her leg, on the photo, on the film that had not been scanned at TSA. So that's kind of interesting. Let's look at it side by side, too. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? Aside from the fact that one of them is bluer than the other one, that's, again, just an editing issue, not a thing with the airport scan film. I don't know. I don't really see a major difference. But let me show you another example. Here's a photo of my friend Zawar, taken, again, taken side by side on the cameras. The one on the left here is the one on the regular roll of film, not scanned through TSA's CT scanners. The one on the right is the one that's been scanned through TSA. Let's compare it because it has a lot more like dark shadows than um, the last photo did. And again here, I mean like, I think this is where you can start to see a little bit of the effect of what the airport scanner does. Just a little bit. I mean, there's a little bit of greenness, I think you can tell right there compared to here. Again, tiny bit. And especially in the shadows here, like a lit, just a little bit more green. I cannot stress enough how little of an effect this had on the photo, but look at that. I mean, at a distance for smaller prints, like prints that are smaller than a billboard, uh, <laughs> this is, pretty much the exact same image. I don't see anything different. So again, here's another photo that has a lot more shadows in it. And let's just zoom in like here where you can see both Nick and his face and also the background where it's darker. And again, no discernible difference. I mean, that's, there's, there's nothing weird about those images. Again, if I zoom out and if I were to make a print of these or if I'm just looking at them on social media, like nobody's gonna be like, huh, that's kind of funky and grainy and there's no detail in the shadows. Like that's that's not the case. There's, there's plenty of detail in the shadows or at least the same amount in, in both images, right? Now, now let me show you an example of a photo that I took when I was in Newport, Rhode Island 
And then after I left, after I shot the roll, sent the roll through TSA scanner by accident, and that's that was the one that I had seen the most difference on. Okay, here's that image, and this was taken on a medium format camera, the Mia 645, and I think that where you see the most difference, while this is a very pleasing image, I'm proud of it, I, I lost detail in the shadows, that's it. I lost detail in the shadows, and I, I, I would say that by doing like noise reduction in Lightroom, it counteracted that a little bit, but I just know that there was more that could have been there had I not sent this through TSA CT scanners, completely forgetting. Okay, you can see it more here. There's just like, there should be so much more information on this pillar. There should be so much more information here on these chairs. I wish I had a side-by-side, -side, but I obviously did not do it intentionally. A little bit of creative editing with a roll that's been sent through a CT scanner just once should be fine. It's not the end of the world. There's no reason to not shoot a roll that's accidentally gone through a CT scanner once. And there's no reason to not develop the roll if you've already sent it through there. Your images should be fine. Now, if you've sent it through the CT scanner numerous times, my guess is that it would get a lot worse. And maybe I'll do that in another video where I send it through the scanner on a trip that like, depending on how many flights I take, probably two or three or four times, right? That could be really interesting. I'll do it for the film photography community. My sacrifice to you. But I hope you found this helpful because I know for me, I'm still gonna get my film hand scanned at the airport. I don't want it to intentionally become just a little bit grainier, a little bit of loss in, in the shadows. And TSA doesn't seem to mind. They're usually pretty quick about it too. But again, if you're just like rushing through the airport and you forget, it's not the end of the world. And now you know. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I've got a lot of other videos coming just like this where I'm testing out little things here and there that people want to know the answer to. Follow along, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.